All right, today we are going to be doing a draft of about Stanley Cup champions. That's it. Basically, if you're a Stanley Cup champion, then congrats, you can be on the team. I pretty much just have the Wikipedia page open of, you know, names of players that are on the cup. And so that is what we're going to be going based off of. But it doesn't even matter what team I land on, which is why I make it a big deal, because I'm going to sub out the team today. I'm going to change things up. The Newfoundland Wales, baby, with the Henderson Silver Knights has... All right. Well, yeah, it's gonna be a fantasy draft anyway, so it doesn't matter. So fantasy draft is on. Salary cap will leave it on because I like sort of the extra challenge. Head coach edit line. Yeah, I mean we don't even have to actually comply with it, but I like to try anyway. You guys know that by now. Head coach edit lines. Jabroni. Don't even think about it. Fog of war. No. Yeah, but I'll turn off the meetings and CBU trades. Trade all you want. All right, we should be good. Which draft position will we get? I'm going to say seven. I don't know why. I'm feeling like we're going to get a high pick. But knowing my luck, it's going to be like 37, even though that's not possible. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Come on now. Here we go. We get pick number 25. Lovely. I'm thinking goalies might be a difficult spot, honestly. Like, goaltending might be where we sort of struggle. You know what? Let's start. Why not? Yeah, let's start with a goalie. Let's just take Vazzy. Won the most recent Stanley Cup and are currently still in this one as well. So, could be back-to-backs for him, potentially. And while we're at it, let's take his teammate, Steven Stamkos. 90 overall. Boom. There it is. That's two pretty big caps right off the beginning, but hopefully we will make it work. So, the only one on here that I... I'm pretty sure has won a cup. Well, I know Latang won a cup, but I don't think anyone else here has. Yeah, Latang has won several with the Pittsburgh Penguins, so let's go ahead and take him. I could take Jonathan Taze, but man, that cap is just killer. 10.5. Oh man. Well, I whatever. I, we might just have to do it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll like be a little bit looser with cap in this one, because this is gonna be a, a toughie. David Perron, four million. Yes, sir. 86 overall, absolutely. So fun fact, according to Wikipedia, uh Ranta is on the cup. He won it with the Blackhawks in 2015, technically. He played 14 regular season games, dressed for 51, left for playing in the minors after the trade deadline, and not dressing in the playoffs, but Apparently, he's still on the cup. He's on the front page. I, it, as soon as I see his name, I have to take him if I'm able to. And Timothy Jimothy did win a Stanley Cup with the Washington Capitals. Jake Muzzin won one with the Kings a little bit ago. So there we go. Another defenseman. Now, I know that Keith and Yarmelson have both won some with the Chicago Blackhawks. I... I'm pretty sure Krejci is also won on the cup, but 7.2. I mean, we're already running really low on cap. And even the 5 million ones are a little bit scary. Anyways, let's take Yarmulson for this one. And hopefully we can start getting some lower salaries here. But yeah, I don't know. I, I still want to try, even though I said we're going to keep it a little bit more loose this time around. But it's still worth the effort. Zdeno Chara making 800k as a defenseman. Yeah, I mean, he might be old, but... Doesn't matter. Eric Stahl won one with the Hurricanes. 83 overall and only 1.6 million. I will take that. Shattenkirk was on the Lightning last year and he won a cup with them. So that works as well. We only need one more defenseman and we are really lacking on forwards. Coburn also part of the Lightning. So we officially need no more defensemen and we only need forwards. Wow. We are definitely going over the cap. Like it's just, it's undeniable at this point but i'll take kalorn anyway wow we're getting a lot of players from tampa but regardless coleman yeah 1.8 million another centerman but he can maybe play wing or maybe he'll just be a fourth line center who knows all right we're definitely gonna have some centers playing wing but regardless carter here we go alex chase on is actually on the cup with the capitals i kind of forget the whole story behind that but yeah i'm pretty sure he got traded at like the deadline or something and then they ended up adding him as one of the players anyway i can't fully remember, but I think something like that happened. Shiri has won, I know, at least one with the Penguins. Maybe even multiple. So that is another pick right there. We're actually doing all right in terms of cap. You know, like 1.3 million left. That's not so bad, really. You know, we're, we're keeping it close. Closer than I thought we were going to be able to, which is nice. Pat Maroon actually went back to back. He won one with the Blues, and then he won one with the Tampa Bay Lightning the very next year. So there we go. This actually works out perfectly. We need right wingers, and Corey Perry is on there i believe with the ducks so yeah that's huge there we go that's our team we're done the draft I'm, i have confidence in this team i think we could do things here that's how you know you just finished your last pick because it takes so much longer to simulate for whatever reason but anyways let's go and go put these lines together see what we got i i don't know i don't know how to feel about this team i want to have faith and say they're going to be all right 
But every time I do that, they suck. So I don't know. But I, I'm just going to be honest. I do think this team could be all right. When you think about it, like we have a really good defensive core. Our goaltending is outstanding. We have debatably the best goalie in the world right now. And then backed up by Ranta, who's also very, very talented. And our forwards are also quite good. So I don't know, man. I think it's possible. All right. I guess there's just something about winning the cup that gives you chemistry. Because we've got all green here. Three plus ones, one plus three. And then back here, we got plus three, plus one, and zero. And then in net, we've got Andre Vasilevsky and Rant. I'm just going to say it. We are making a run here, boys. We are going to do it. Now, I know our offense isn't the best, okay? You don't need to throw that in my face. I understand. I'm aware, okay? But regardless, I still think this team is quite good. Uh, I mean, we got great defense. We have two tremendous goaltenders. And our first line is good. Our second line, you know, it's not bad, and I think we're good. We're good. I cannot wait for this game to shove those words right back in my face. Let's go! One and one. Good start, boys. Two one. Love to see it. That's great stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Two two one. Lovely. Oh, I also forgot. Uh, I guess prediction time. It's we're a little into it now, but whatever. So I'm gonna say we finish with 40, 40, 47 wins. Screw it. Let's go forty-seven. I think we're gonna have a good year. Forty-seven wins, and I think Stamkos is gonna have the most points with. 89. All right, 47 wins is starting to look more and more unlikely by the day. But, you know, I guess it's still... No, we are not getting 47 wins, I swear. If we don't make the playoffs with this team, I'm going to be so upset. Actually, I don't think I've ever done... I've, I've done this draft before, but I don't think I've ever done a... Players who haven't won the Stanley Cup or players whose names aren't on the Cup draft. So, I just got an idea for my next video. Toronto Maple Leafs have fired their head coach, Stefan Duclair. All right. Interesting. I still don't understand why this game doesn't have real coaches, you know? Like, why why can't they put an actual coach in here? Why can't Barry Trotz be in NHL 22? That's all I'm saying. My friend was actually talking to me the other day, and we thought it'd be pretty cool. He came up with sort of an idea where it's like, be a coach mode where, you know, I guess you'd probably have to do, like, press conferences and stuff. It'd kind of be like, be a pro, but you get to draw plays and stuff, and then sort of have the... the computers do the plays so you could call audibles and stuff, and yeah, I think that'd be... Pretty interesting, but I don't know. Just an idea. I'm also out here waiting on BRF mode. I don't know if that's going to come until who knows what NHL game. That probably will never happen, actually. What am I saying? I swear this game can, like, even hear my thoughts because I was thinking, like, you know what? 47 wins? If we keep this up, then possibly we could maybe end up making it. But then, of course, as soon as I start thinking that, we go on a huge losing streak and we lost, like, six of seven, which is great. I love that for us. We have Ranta on the block, apparently. Um, good to know. Thanks for the heads up. All right. There you go. There's the trading block. So, yeah. Let's get back to it. Wow. Dougie Hamilton, Greg Aranko, and a fifth for two firsts from Boston. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Boston's getting two firsts. I read that backwards. Wow. Interesting. Post-trade deadline tear. Let's go. It's been, okay, three and one now. But we need ten more wins to meet my objective, which I... It's... It, very unlikely. Yeah, I just counted. So we have 12 games, now 11 games left, and we have to win 10 of them. So, yeah, it's... Oh, it's still possible. We just have to win every game from here on out. Uh, we could do it, you know? No, nah, never mind. It's over. The dream is done. Imagine we just go on a massive losing streak to end this and don't make the playoffs. You don't even know how little that would surprise me. I wouldn't be taken back whatsoever. Well, we're in the playoffs here against the Minnesota Wild. Probably going to get first rounded, but anyways, let's have a look at some of the stats throughout the season here. Stamkos only put up 71. What are you doing, Steven? Come on, brother. All right, well, anyway, we finished 41, 31, and 10, which is good enough for fourth in the Pacific and the entire league. Ottawa, 122 points, 60 wins. They had 10 more wins than the second place Tampa Bay Lightning. Are you serious right now? absolute animals okay let's see did the top 16 make it no they did not because nashville finished 15th and and i finished 19th and made it with 88 points that is ugly individual stats stamco 71 and the dash one you know what i'm gonna take screw chemistry i'm just gonna do best lines man it never works out for me no matter how much i try i know other people say like chemistry is very important it never does anything for me i swear vasileski with an 880 okay 899 is a little bit better than 889 but still what is that well in the entire league marchant of course, because of course, gets the Art Ross with 115, McDubstep with 111, Malkin 109, all right, well, here we go, cool, cool, let's check out the goalies who led the league, Merzlikens with the Capitals, 41, Mrazic, 39, all right, there you have it. Let's just check out Washington's roster right now, because, wait, 
Were they, am I crazy? Were they the President's Trophy winners or am I losing it? Which, by the way, did I also just see that JVR had 94 points? Where did that come from? Anyway, let's go back here. So, oh, I need to go to team standings. Darn it. Okay, yeah, I am crazy. It was the Ottawa Senators. Sorry, just so much going on right now. Trying to focus on so many different things. Ottawa Senators. Let's check out their roster. Okay, boom. And Ottawa. There it is. Okay. Bergeron, 92 points. Panarin, 84. Debrinkat, 77. Robert Thomas, Hurdle. They have a very good team here. I, I won't even lie about that. So, it kind of checks out. Yeah, they have a very talented hockey team in front of them. Talbot, 39 wins, 84 overall. Vitek Vanacek, 83. All right. Yep. Screw chemistry. Best lines. Boom. There it is. Timothy, Jimothy, Stamkos, and Perron, Chason, Kalor, and Taves. All right. So, yeah. Let's just run with it. Let's run with it. Sure. Plus one, plus one. And Vazzy and Nen. Okay. Let's see what happens. Nice. We're up 1 0 on Minnesota. That's good stuff. 2 0 on Minnesota. Vasilevsky finally showed up to play, getting two shutouts there. He only let in two there. The team kind of let him down. Let's in one and let's in four, but the team made up for that one. Okay. We're past round one. Continue. Round two against the Colorado Avalanche. Oh. Oh. The comeback? Now we were out. I, yep. Okay. Great. The LA Kings are your Stanley Cup champions. Okay. Let's see who we can draft next time. Am I right? The Stanley Cup champions, right? Well, I guess we can't draft them next time because they won the cup now. So Stamkos did better. He was a point a game in the playoffs there. So that's nice to see. But anyways, let's have a quick look at the LA Kings roster. I want to see what they're made up of. What brought them to be Stanley Cup champions? LA Kings. All right. So they had Eichel with 90, Besser 90, Wheeler 89. Wow. Okay. That's that's strong right there. Radulov, Klingberg, Barry. For Hagee, Hyman. They have a really good team here. Wow, I'm surprised they didn't do better in the actual regular season. Who do they have in net? They have Mrazek, 84. Actually, he put up 39 wins, so they did do very, very well. But, yeah. Anyway, there you go. LA Kings, quite the squad. Awards. Let's have a look at those. LA Kings, we know Ottawa made it to the... Or, sorry, they got the Presidents. My bad. New Jersey made it from the east side to the finals. Okay, individual trophies. We got Marchand, McDavid with the heart, Carlson with the Norris, Lady Bing to Kuzi, Kaprizov gets the Calder, Verhage with the Conn Smythe, Vesna goes to Gibson and the William M. Jennings, Bill Masterton to Johns, Jack Adams goes to Dubnik, Kopitar with the Selkie, McDavid with the Lindsay, and really. Well, Brad Marchand wins the Maurice Rocket Richard, apparently, so good for him. All right, here you go. That's the playoff tree, guys. That's how it went down, but you know what? Overall, I'd still consider that a success. Made it to the second round, and team did okay. Not as well as I anticipated, but, you know, I should have maybe just went best lines the whole season instead of worrying about chemistry anyways. But regardless, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you for the uh, non-Stanley Cup <laughs> draft, I guess. Yeah, the, the players who haven't won the Cup, so I'll see you then.